Let's get started with our level rail installation. First, prepare all your posts. We're using 4x4 vinyl sleeves over structural posts. Place the bottom rail across the post opening, leaving equal spacing from the last baluster and post on each end, and mark 1 8 inch from the end of the post to allow room for expansion. Align your top rail with your bottom rail and cut both rails with a miter box or hacksaw. Keep in mind that you will need to cut through the vinyl and the aluminum insert within each rail. Next, we'll need to plan for the mounting location of your bottom rail using two 2 inch temporary wood spacer blocks to help with alignment. Place your brackets onto both ends of the bottom rail and slide the bottom rail in between your posts, resting it on top of your wood spacer blocks. Center one of the brackets onto its respective post and using a 1 8 inch drill bit, pre-drill the four outside corner screw holes through the bracket and into the post. Do this for both sides. Drive four number 10 by one and a half inch screws through the bracket and into the post, then repeat for the opposite bracket. Locate the two balusters with crimped lock tabs on their ends. Install these two balusters into the baluster holes closest to your posts. Then place all remaining balusters into your bottom rail. Begin at one side of the rail and align your first baluster with your first routed baluster hole on your top rail and gently snap your top rail into position. Then continue down the line and add your remaining balusters. If you're installing railing over the post, be sure the balusters are fully seated and the railing is level and centered to the post sleeve. Mark the side of the post at the same point where the top corner of the top rail intersects, then leaning the railing to the side and cut the post to the length marked. Once your balusters are in, railing is level and centered onto the post sleeve, hold the top bracket snug to the rail from underneath, and using a 1 8 inch drill bit, pre-drill your first top bracket screw hole. Then, drill through the bracket hole, vinyl post sleeve and vinyl insert, and loosely install a number 10 by 1 and a half inch screw. Pre-drill for the remaining three screws, then install and tighten all four screws. Do this for the remaining top bracket. Next, for each installed side bracket, pre-drill in the center of each elongated hole with a 1 8 inch drill bit, then install number 10 by 1 inch screws into your pre-drilled holes. Do this for the remaining bracket. Match the letters scribed on the inside of the bracket cover to the letter on the bracket and snap the cover into place. Repeat this for all brackets. Cut your deck board to your desired length and place it over your assembled railing. Drive number 10 by 3 quarter inch screws up from under the rail, centered through all the slotted holes and into the deck board. Depending on how much railing was cut, you may need to add a hole, keeping in mind that the first screw must be approximately 2 inches from the post. For a finishing touch, add adjustable trim rings, lights or other accessories sold separately. We've done a basic level rail application, so let's quickly tell you about installing final line on an angle. There are two methods you can use to install your final line deck top railing on an angle using pre-molded adapters for 22.5 degrees or 45 degrees or field cut angle brackets. We're using the pre-molded adapters, but we'll briefly touch on the field cut angle brackets later. To get started, using the posts that will have the adapters installed onto them, measure the distance between them using their inside corners. Subtract 3 quarters of an inch from that distance to determine the length you will need to use to cut your top and bottom rails. If you're using one-piece trim rings versus four-piece adjustable, add them now. Assemble your railing section as we did in the previous level rail section, but this time you'll place the angle adapter between the brackets and posts. Then pre-drill, then use the longer 3-inch screws provided with adapters to connect to the post. 
Last are field cut angle brackets. Slide a top rail bracket over the railing ends. Measure your desired angle and cut your bracket and railing with the aluminum channel inside to that angle, maintaining a four inch or less space between your post and first baluster. Repeat this for the bottom rail and complete your installation as we did in the previous level rail section. Keep in mind the maximum cut angle should be no greater than 21.5 degrees to prevent bracket or rail from overhanging your 4x4 post. If your angle is more than 21.5 degrees, we recommend a larger post sleeve. The deck board, if installed post to post, will extend beyond the width of the post. Let's get started with our stair installation. First, prepare all your posts. We're using 4x4 vinyl sleeves over structural posts. Temporarily secure a deck board one and a quarter inches to your stair treads to determine the spacing between the nose of the stairs and your bottom rail. Locate the two balusters with crimped lock tabs on their ends. Install those two balusters into the baluster holes closest to your posts. Then place all remaining balusters into your bottom rail. Add your top rail. You might need a second person to help with this one. There are two methods that you can use to install your final line T-top stair railing using pre-molded brackets or field cut angle brackets. We're using the pre-molded brackets and we'll briefly touch on field cut angle brackets later. To get started, clamp your assembled stair railing section adjacent to your mounted posts, leaving equal distances from the ends of both balusters. Trace the post onto both ends of your top and bottom rails. Make four marks being sure to mark one-eighth of an inch shorter to allow for expansion. Remove your clamped stair kit from your posts. Cut along all four angled marks on your railing. Then place your brackets onto the rail ends and place the rail back into place. Make sure that the bracket is centered to the post. Using a 1 8 inch drill bit, pre-drill the first bottom bracket screw through the bracket hole and post using one of the four outside corner holes. Drive the first number 10 by 1 and a half inch screw through the bottom brackets and into post. Repeat this for the remaining screws and second bottom bracket. Once your balusters are in, railing is level and centered onto the post sleeve, hold the top bracket snug to the rail from underneath and using a 1 8 inch drill bit, pre-drill your first top bracket screw hole. Then, drill through the bracket hole, vinyl post sleeve and vinyl insert and loosely install a number 10 by 1 and a half inch screw. Do this for the three remaining screws. Tighten your screws and repeat this for your other top bracket. Next, for each installed side bracket, pre-drill into the center of each elongated hole with a 1 8 inch drill bit, then install number 10 by 1 inch screws into your pre-drilled holes. Repeat this for all brackets. Match the letters scribed on the inside of the bracket cover to the letter on the bracket and snap the cover into place. Repeat this for all brackets. After you've finished installing your railing, you can now install your deck board top. Simply cut your deck board to your desired length and place over the railing making sure that the ends of the deck boards are beveled to fit flush to the posts. Next, drive number 10 by 3 quarter inch screws up from under rail centered through slotted holes and into the deck board. Repeat this for all holes. For a finishing touch, add adjustable trim rings, lights or other accessories sold separately. 